everybody. Welcome to Compliance Live. I'm Amanda Hosenfeld. I'm Kaylin Gongfa. And today we've got a really great show about risk assessment. What is risk? That is, from where I'm sitting, that's literally just putting up the wet floor sign to avoid people slipping when it's raining outside, yeah, right? Should, that's it. You could do that to avoid risk, yeah. Um, so make sure you have one of those. Like, that's a good, that's a good point. Thanks, Amanda. You're welcome. I think like step number one, define risk. What does it mean for your organization? Because I don't think that it's the same for every organization. Risk could be different for a compliance line than it would be for an you know, industrial-based organization. I think um, there's a lot of differences, it's even when you go into healthcare or other industries. So there is a common definition that we can kind of rely on to start with if um, your company is having a hard time kind of defining risk for mm -hmm. the specific industry it's, it's in. And the, the common definition is any event that negatively influences the organization's ability to meet its business goals. So um, outside of just the common definition, I think that can help a lot of companies kind of get started. Uh, also think of risk as how can it affect my company? How can it affect my company's ability to survive in the marketplace? So you want to take a look at um, risks impact on your, your company's financial strength, on its public image. You want that to always be like mm -hmm. as positive as possible. And the overall quality of the services your organization provides, the products it creates, and the people it employs. Uh, overturn all, all the stones that you can find within your organization and look for the risks. So you want to say, is it impacting our customers, our employees, our finances, our image, our goals, mm -hmm. you know, everything. Think of it in that way. And then I would even say, kind of start broad, narrow down. And I think that's how our organization kind of faces risk assessments is we start with some of the, some main categories. We look into each department okay, what areas do I need to look at in the health line? What areas do I need to look at in learning and development? And then kind of break it out there. Uh, and, and I think you can also, like, if you're just lost, start out with how a rating agency would look at risk within your organization. What are their standards? What are they going to ask you? And what, you know, what areas are they looking at? What risks specifically are they looking for? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure that each accrediting agency has their own checklist of, of a sort. So take a look at that and then like above all else, if you don't take anything else away from this specific step, <laughs> know that an effective risk assessment has to be specific. You can't just go broad, you have to go deeper. So don't stop at just like, okay, I've identified the main categories within my each department, like you need to un like then look within each of those categories for more risk. I think risk assessment's a lot of work and I'm like spoiling a, a future step here, but people kind of see them as this like, you know, bothersome, cumbersome requirement <laughs> um, instead of just like volunteering to do them annually, you know, not every organization jumps on. Yeah, and everybody's like, yay, right. it's risk assessment <laughs> yeah. time of the year. It's, it's a lot of work. Right. But it's it's worth that's worth it for your organization. So so all right. So what's our third step? So step number three is to create a risk library. But this is just kind of like the framework for your risk assessment process. So I kind of see it as naming the areas that you need to look in, and kind of each of those like broad categories within each department, kind of breaking it down that way. Uh, like the importance to a risk library outside of what it is, is they promote consistency and just a culture of awareness within your organization. Your risk library kind of tells you what to look for. Okay. So you're saying here are the departments, here are common risks that um, you can find within all of our departments throughout the organization. So like the process review, like contractual terms, like loss of revenue and QA. Um, and then within each of those contain how you're not meeting your standards. 
Okay. So that's so we've made it through defining risk, um, identifying your specific company's risk, and creating that risk library with the big comfy chairs. Yeah. What is next? So next we are talking about the importance of do them even if it's not mandated. So like, voluntarily, you voluntarily yeah. want me to go into the risk library. I, I do. I, I want you to un <laughs> overturn these stones without being told to, please. No, so I think kind of going back to what I was saying earlier, a lot of organizations just think that they're like, just paperwork. You're like, I just have to do it. You know, it's it's not looked at maybe with the, the, um, the idea of, we want to be a smart company, so we're going to realize and just, you know, look at all the risks within our organization because any risk is a risk to our business.